Matt, I guess just kind of the attitude, mood coming off this last game. I mean, I, I know that was a tough loss on homecoming. What's kind of the attitude and mood of the team? Yes, sir. Um, the attitude, it's been good right now. You know, every week, every time, any game we've lost, we've come in. I feel like the attitude's been great. Coaches' attitudes have been great. Um, relay and messages across us, trying to keep our heads up. I know coming in, the days after the loss on that Monday, it's hard. You can see everyone's down, everyone's heads down, everyone's hurting. But then the next day, next day goes on. Out here at practice, I feel like we, we pick it back up and we have a, we have a great day. Yeah, is Monday the Tell the Truth day? Yes, sir, it is. So was that hard yesterday? Yes, sir. It, it, it's always hard, especially because watching film, it was really everyone was doing their jobs. It's just plays where they broke off for long ones or touchdowns. It was always just one guy not doing his job. So, I mean, we were one guy away from just having the whole job, and that goes to show that everyone on the team has a 111th and we have to do our job. Matt, as one of those seniors <clears throat> that probably wants to make a bowl game, final year in college, knowing how much you guys are back are, backs are against the wall. Is that something that you have to remind the underclassmen who can maybe say, oh, I still have two or three more seasons? Yeah, I, I think that all the time, man. I know I know my past years, um, it's always been like, hey, we got to give these seniors a, a good a good way out for the last year, and I feel the same way this way. Just being a senior, having, you know, the few seniors that are still here, um, just I feel like with all the stuff we've been through, all the good, all the highs, all the lows, I feel like everyone deserves a, uh, a bowl game at the end of the year. And it's just a way to celebrate, celebrate the hard work put in throughout the year. Do you think you see that the underclassmen are still motivated to get that for you like you were for seniors in the past? Uh, yeah, I know a lot of them. A lot of them are motivated, especially a lot of the young players who play a lot. Their heads are still in the game, and they're, they're doing a, a phenomenal job, actually. I give them a lot of credit. The young guys like Tez, the D-line, Tez, Jarrell, um, they're all doing a great job keeping their head up. And I would just say for the players who don't really play, the players who really aren't out there, I know a lot of them maybe could put it to the side and be like, oh, oh well, things aren't going my way. Not really into the whole game and the whole process of going to a bowl game, but just doing our job and making sure they know what the bowl games mean to the seniors. Do you feel as a senior, as a person with some experience, that you're making your voice a little bit louder than maybe you normally would be? Yes, sir. I know I come off as a quiet guy. Um, my whole life I've been been a quiet guy, not really the one to talk. But I know coming in, especially with Coach Robinson, he helped me out a whole lot with that, just keeping on at me, being on my being on my tail all the time about it. And I feel like I've definitely come out and I've talked more. I've come out of my shell a lot more and done a lot a lot better with the on the field and off the field communication. Matt, uh, <clears throat> Coach talked the other day about making sure your rush lanes are good because Donovan's a guy that can yeah. get out. How how key is that this week to not let him get on the edge? Or yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a very major key into uh, winning this game. Um, he's not like the other quarterbacks, quarterbacks we face where they're shifty, fast, and can do a lot of work. But he's more of a tall, physical, um, big quarterback guy. And he always falls forward. He's a hard guy to get down. So I just know keeping those rush lanes, having gap integrity, and especially when they do, they like to do a counter pull with the quarterback. So just stopping that, that'll be a big, big part of the game. Does he remind you a little bit of the Texas State quarterback? Uh, oh, like TJ Finley a little bit. Yeah, it does. Just very big, tall. Yeah, he's pretty much like that, you know? I think he's like six, six, five, six, six, like two something. So yeah, he's, he's pretty similar to a Texas State's quarterback. In terms of Y'all making that bowl game to circle back that again. With three wins in your first day, what makes you confident in this team that they can get three in the last four to get to that? Yeah, man. Um, we could all sit here and confidence could fall. Things could fall down. But I would just say the talent on this team is incredible. I would say if you could compare it to another team, it would be the 2021 team. Just the way the talent of the team is insane. and. When we go out there on the field, we're always obviously not showing what our talent can do. I just feel like if a lot of the guys will realize what this team has and what this team holds behind the scenes, we even from the beginning we could have we could have did a lot of a lot of great things. And I just feel like right now, if we just keep our head on and go go win out on these next four games, three even three games for a bowl game, we'll be good. What, what do you feel like is missing? Then? If the talent is there, what do you feel like is missing? I don't know. I was thinking to myself. The other day, after talking to coach, um, and what I think I I feel like when we come out to practice is it's it's great, it's phenomenal. We have I mean 
I'm pretty sure a lot of people get tired of hearing it, but we have great practices. We're out there, energy, we're rolling, pads popping. I feel like we're putting all the work in, every bit of work you could put in until the game starts. And I feel like within the three hours or whatever the game's going on, the four quarters, I just feel like all the work we put in and everything we've done, it's just it's not unleashing. And that's, what it, that's really what it needs to unleash because it's all the work you put in, that's, that's what you want to do is you go out there and display. Is there something that you can pick out that you guys are doing on the road that maybe isn't happening at home? Because I feel like it's pretty strange to see a team with a perfect road record. Yeah. At home. Yeah, I don't – that's a hard one too because like when you, when you, it's hard to explain because when we go on the road, it's just like a, a different feeling. You know, you don't, you don't really have no one by your side when you, as compared to when you're here. You got, you got the fans. You got your cheerleaders, your dance people, your band. Everyone's on your side, you know. But when you go on a away game, it's like – oh, it's us versus them. And I feel like when we're here at home, we don't really think of like, oh, it's us versus them. It's just, I feel like we're thinking of it as us, as in the stadium versus them, rather than how it needs to be us players versus them players. And when we go on away games, I feel like that's what we do.